Side note, uh, my sticker wall on my fridge, my mini fridge, it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, we got some stuff. All the stickers I acquired, you know. Uh, shout out MDC, Amsoil. Uh, good old freaking filterware sent me something. Uh, I used to have Mickey Thompson's a long time ago on my 6L Power Stroke. Shout out Chad Myers. I remember that one time Chad was asking about his sticker. There it is, brother. All right. All right, let me show you. Excuse the mess. I know I have a lot of stuff going on here. So right off the bat, we got. I went ahead and picked up a, uh, what is this, a little hand orbital sander electric. Uh, I was going to get a pneumatic one, but I really don't feel like hearing my compressor in the garage going nonstop while I'm trying to sand this down. So uh, I'm definitely going to be using that, using this. I think this is like 18 bucks at Walmart. Uh, just matching sandpaper. Well, not matching, but sandpaper for it. We got some 80 grit, 60 grit, which I probably won't need for this. I'll probably use 80 and uh, 120 grit. Uh, the sandpaper really is just so we can sand off the clear and get down the bare paint on this because we're going to be doing a color change. So once we knock that clear off, uh, sand it down to bare paint, we'll be able to prime it. Uh, there, it's no body work need. It's all smooth and straight, so we don't have to worry about bondoing and all that stuff. So we'll go ahead and get it down, bare paint, and then, or I'll, we'll call it raw paint for the video purposes. We'll get down to raw paint, and then we'll go ahead and prime it. Let the primer cure. After it primes, go ahead and apply our clear coat. We're using uh, Spray Max 2K Clear, okay? This is uh, some professional stuff. Um, I guess 2K makes some of the best clear in the game. Uh, there's even an activator here, I think. You, yes, yeah, it's, it's a two-part. And then lastly, we got some tack cloth, okay? One thing that we have, I need to get that we don't have, is a wax and grease remover. So what you want to do is between each step. So after we sand it, get it down, get, you get a tack cloth, some wax and grease remover. You wipe it down, get it, and what that does is it takes off all of the impurities on the surface. So that way when you spray, you don't trap that stuff underneath and end up having to wet sand again to get it out. Uh, you're, you should be doing that between each coat. So, you know, before primer before paint, before clear, just to give it a nice wipe down. Uh, it won't strip the paint or nothing. It, it's just make, it makes the, the surface version clean. So uh, definitely. So what we're going to do now and today, because I mean, I'm not going to be out here all night. We're going to go ahead and sand. I'm going to test the sander out. We're going to go ahead and start sanding down the, uh, well, whatchamacallit, all right? So I'll set you guys up and then we'll go from there. gloves on about to go find me a rag somewhere it should be over here oh I know I went dark for a minute all right yep got a rag right here got a rag we're gonna go ahead wipe her down with the rag uh, I got some rubbing alcohol um, I'm just using this just to kind of wing it but whatever is it proper should you use it nah, I don't know but I know alcohol is good because it, it can act as a wax and grease remover, um, and you know, we'll see. So I'm going to wipe, wipe, wipe down all the dust, and then show you guys how it looks sanded down. Uh, it's like 90, 95% sanded down, uh, so please don't tear me up for saying I did a shitty job. Um, but yeah, alright, so let me go ahead and wipe this down. There you guys, so we went ahead, uh, wiped it down, and this is it. This is how she looked. Um, I like it so far. Well, okay, <laughs> time out. For sanding it, I like it. Um, like I said, the sand job was not to drop the paint to bare paint or to bare skin. It was to take that clear coat off so we have access to the bare coat, and that's exactly, exactly, minus a couple spots like in here. I got to hit up. Because you know, I want the primer. The better the primer is uh, sticks to the surface, 
the better the paint's gonna stick, the better the clear coat's gonna stick. It, you know what I'm saying? It's a domino effect. As today's the next day, I just finished filming a video for you guys that's getting edited on the computer right now. So if you enjoy that, and chances are you saw that video before this video, once again, give me a thumbs up because it really helps out a lot. All right, so you guys check it out. So where we at right now is we went ahead and I did a, I did I did do some of this off camera because I don't want to mess up my camera. Sanded it down. You guys saw that, and I hit I hit it with the first coat of primer. Okay, um, it's not 100 percent good because first coat should be very light. Um, if anything, I actually went a little heavy on the first coat, but went back behind it with some 400 grit sandpaper, and I did I did this off camera. I went ahead and sanded it down some some rough spots because if you look. You see this and this, so this is smooth, this is gritty, okay? And on top of the camper shell, I don't really care too much about it being 100% perfect just because it's the top of the camper shell and nobody's going to see it. I do want it to be good, I want it to last somewhat and be durable, um, but you know, it doesn't have to be 100% showroom ready. And you guys know I'm doing this with zero experience, I'm an amateur, um, so I'm just doing it, you know? So. I went ahead on the sides, I sanded down with the 400 grit, dry, dry sand, not wet sand. I sanded down all of the rough spots and the grittiness. I'm going to go ahead, and this is only one coat of primer, I'm going to go ahead and apply a uh, second coat, okay? And the second coat is going to be a medium coat, or medium to light coat. Uh, it won't get heavy into the third coat, and then that's going to be the heavy coat. I mean, you can still see... You can still see some red up in there. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys that. One more thing too is before I apply the second, the next coat, uh, I got I went ahead and picked up some wax and tar remover. Um, this is good. I know maybe some old school guys or you know certain people might use rubbing alcohol, but my rubbing alcohol supply is getting low. So uh, we're gonna be. I got some shop rags here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some gloves on and wipe down the the shell before putting the next coat on one thing too also for my cans of paint what i do before i even touch my cans of paint i go ahead and fill my sink up in the in the house with some hot water you do warm water but i just turn it as hot as my water can get maybe that's your guys just a little fly on me um i always put this in warm water what that does is that helps loosen and breaks it down So went ahead, put on that second coat of primer. I uh, probably won't show on camera me applying that third coat just because it's going to be the exact same thing except you know a third coat. So the primer's on. It's gonna. I'm gonna give it this time. Um, like I said, the sides were more important to me, so I made sure. I mean, I'll, I try my best on the top, but it's kind of hard because the angle. Um, you know. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's going to be good. And stuff like this, where you get like the little impurities that land on top, you can hit it with a tack cloth, but the best, the best thing to do is to sand it. Uh, you want to sand it to get any, you don't have to go deep too, just very lightly. You're just sanding it just to get that impurity out of it. You want it nice and smooth, okay? Um, you know, this feels pretty good right here. But uh, yeah, so we did that. Um, also, while off camera, I was talking to my neighbor. He hooked me up, shot me his uh, his spray gun. So I'm gonna be using this. It's just a little basic Harbor Freight spray gun with the regulator on it. Probably be spraying at 35, 40 psi. Uh, and he also gave me an extra hopper. So what that means, and this is gonna help because it's gonna save money. I'm taking these back because these are like ten dollars a pop. Take these back. Gonna get a can, a quart of. PW7, which is the white paint code for the Cummins, PW7, gonna get a quart of paint and some uh, 
Well, yeah, that's it, really. I'll probably get a single stage, or I don't even know if that's the right term, but I'm going to get some paint. Uh, we're going to use the spray gun. I got the compressor over there, uh, and we're going to paint this white tomorrow, okay? So I'll probably be taking those cans back tomorrow as well, but uh, yeah. first coat of base coat of the paint uh, to the camper shell right now I know I showed you guys before that we had the dupe color color match paint cans and a spray can I had four cans and I after putting the primer on using the spray can I realized I would need a lot more probably would need eight to ten cans of the spray cans to paint this decently so my neighbor Mike who's recording right now actually gave me the idea and helped me out with this I returned those cans for 40 bucks and we got this one quart of already pre-mixed uh, dupe color paint sharp. And this is supposed to be a bright white color, which is going to resemble the white on the truck. Um, it's good, though, because it's 30 bucks, And a quart of paint will last a lot longer than a spray can. And uh, uh, one of these, like, professional spray guns. This is also my neighbor's mic. Uh, he already has a regulator on it. It's just a little Harbor Freight gun. But we're going to be using this because, you know, save money. All right, that's the whole purpose of it. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. Uh, I've never used one of these professional spray guns before, so it's going to be interesting on how it comes out. Uh, we also got a respirator. Make sure you cover your lungs so that way you don't uh, mess yourself up, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff set up. We're going to get over to the camper shell, and then once I'm ready, I'm going to show you what we're doing, all right? guys so my buddy Mike had to go run and do some stuff uh, I went ahead and continued to spray um, this is the first coat I right, we're gonna say this is the 1.5 coat so it's like it ain't it ain't one coat it's one coat on top but it's not like a hundred percent one coat uh, we come over here and I know it might not look like a nice pretty bright white that might be due to my camera lens but you get you get what I'm, you get what we coming at it looks in person it looks good uh, it looks really good in person. I like it so far. But, uh, yeah, it's coming along, man. Look at that. You can see it, you know. It looks cool. I really I really like it. Um, this was the first time I ever used um, uh, a spray gun like that with, you know, uh, a high-pressure, low-volume spray gun. And it is a lot harder than it looks. Um, I honestly feel like it's one of those things. Wow, the camera just complete. I feel like using the camera is like one of those, or not the camera, it's Using a spray gun is one of those things where it's like, it requires some time. Uh, the more you use it, the better you get. It's kind of like drawing or painting where your hand, you get the feel for it. Um, and that's what it feels like. Uh, definitely nothing that, any, you know, any average person cannot attempt or try. Um, for a first time spray job, first coat, I mean, I think it came out decent, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, we still got another coat to lay down. And then after that coat, we're going to go ahead and drop some clear. But the clear, we're going to wait 24 hours before applying um, uh, the clear. That way the paint can fully dry. Uh, any imperfections I see, you know, if I got a runny spot. Like, I know I got a runny spot right here. I got to hit that up. Yeah, I touched it with my finger, I know. But we got some runny, some run right here. Uh, so I'm gonna dry sand that up a little bit or sand that down a little bit clean that up uh, I got some there. I think I also got some Somewhere else, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna run the park store pick some more some more paint up Put the next coat on and show y'all what, what it looks like. Okay. Tell me what y'all think Okay um, I like it it looks really good right now and the lighting in here. I apologize for having such horrible lighting. I have 
basic lights in here. Um, it looks good. It looks really good, man. I'm telling you. Uh, you know, you look down. I know it's hard to see because, you know, there we go. Focus. Mm-hmm. I know it's hard to see right now, you guys. But when we get her pulled outside, um, I'll, I'll, it's going to look good, okay? Now, it's not done 100% yet because, we one, I'm going to let it cure. Anytime you do, you know, I say professional, but when I say that, I'm not saying I'm a professional. I mean, like, you're spraying with a spray gun. You're using, you're doing, you know, four or five step paint job, you know. Uh, you definitely want to allow the paint to cure for 24 hours at least before putting a clear coat on it. And you also want to wait at least a week before applying any waxes, sealants, ceramic coatings to your paint job. Reason being is because over the next week, your paint is going to be releasing, it's going to be re releasing, it's like, I don't know, toxins slash, it's just going to be releasing stuff out of it. Um, and it needs to do that in order to, for the paint to properly cure. Ha, you know be able to have his durability and whatnot okay you hey guys <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and uh lay the clear like i said i'm using 2k uh clear by spray max this is a two-part clear so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the top off press it on the bottom by pressing that in you're going to activate the i believe it's a poly not a polyurethane uh a lacquer i believe you're gonna activate uh, shake it up good. So I bought two cans of this. The two cans is going to be for all of the side. The roof, well, since the roof's been getting kind of screwed lately, it's going to keep getting screwed. So the, the roof is going to have a uh, Rust-Oleum clear coat. So I believe it'll look good. Now they say that the can these cans go a long way. So we're going to find out. So I'm going to get you guys set up and then we are going to apply the clear. Oh, well, first I'm going to wipe it down with a tack cloth just to pick up any dust and anything that may have settled on it overnight hit it with a tack cloth and then we're gonna go ahead and uh paint it all right there you guys so i wanted to show y'all what i have been doing okay uh right here this is polished we finished i wet sanded it and polished it um this is the first time doing it and it's oh my goodness this thing looks amazing y'all and I'm about to redo this side because you trying to get in on this? What are you doing? So, all right, all right, be quiet. All right, so like I was saying, um, yeah, so now I want to show y'all something. Look at this side. Now you can, you can see a little, you can kind of see a little ruffledness in it. Uh, that's because there's still some orange peel. Okay, there's still orange peel in the paint. I sanded it with the 1500 or, you know, 2000. this side, I sanded with 2000 grit sandpaper. Now, I want to show you, you know, all of this, okay? This whole side is 2000 grit. Now, I wet sanded this side with 15 or with 1000 grit. And there is a noticeable difference, okay? Um, we come over here. And we're looking at it and you look down that line it's glossed out man and it's smooth it is glass i'm telling you guys this is gonna look nice out in the sun man i cannot wait uh we're gonna be putting it on the truck today and a little little later on once i clean up sorry for the lighting once i clean up the little ends odds and ends on it uh after doing uh, this is all trial and error by the way um you know initially starting this my whole thing was if it don't come out right I'll just pay someone to paint it. And between YouTube and just researching, word of mouth, friends and stuff, uh, you guys, some viewers uh, were sending me messages, giving me inputs, great input, great feedback, uh, tips and stuff. Between all of that, uh, this has been a really fun project. I've taken my time on. I mean, look at this, man. You know, this is a do-it-yourself or garage project. Um, so I want to show y'all what we were doing. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using in terms of uh, polishing materials. And we'll so I'm not using a traditional uh, uh, polisher. I'm using a orbital polisher. Uh, I got this off of eBay. It was like 79 bucks. Um, it's a 21 millimeter long thorough uh, dual DA polisher, dual action polisher. Okay. Um, the pad I'm using is a Chemical Guys Hex Logic. Uh, that is one, that is the yellow foam pad is the heaviest cutting pad they have. Uh, I'm also using that in conjunction with some Adams polishes, heavy correcting compound. All right, so this has only been compound. I haven't even polished truly polished this yet. 
So this is probably going to come better once it's polished, all right? So I've been using that. And then over here, garage is a mess. Over here, we got the uh, Adams Polishes Correct and Polish. Okay, now this is the polish. I used it in a test area up here. Right here, I used it. Um, it can't, It worked really good. Really, really nice. But let me see if you can see that reflection. You can see the reflection. And you can see you can see reflection, period. Okay, uh, you can see that easily. You know that is the bottle's reflection. And I've been using I, I use this in this area. I haven't used it anywhere else on the vehicle. Uh, this stuff will all have links down below in the video. So if you want to tackle a job like this yourself, uh, you can you you can do this. And the thing the cool thing about this stuff is the Adams Polish uh, Correcting Compound Kit. I have all three of them, and you can use. Uh, yeah, you can use all of these if you want to correct your vehicle. So if you got swirl marks, scratch it. Like, not scratches into the paint, but like on top of the clear coat scratches, uh, anything like that. You can get it. You can definitely get it out with this trio right here. Okay, really these two right here. But if you're trying to get that that showroom, like you know SEMA car show gloss and pop, you want to combine all three. I'm not going to do a three-step on this just because that's a lot of product and that's a lot of work just for a camper shell. Maybe I'll do the sides because that's really all we're going to be able to see. Now, like I told you guys way back, with the rooftop, I wasn't trying to be perfect on the roof. Why? Because nobody can see it, man. And then, you know, I wasn't going to kill myself trying to make make this roof look good. The, the, the roof clear up here is just some cheap Rust-Oleum clear coat, okay? Uh, if you're curious about it now the sides the sides that is that 2k clear and that's what you get when you have a two-part clear okay you get this you can't get that with no cheap little one part clear or stolen you need to get that 2k clear okay right here this is it this is the sauce if you are trying to do a aerosol can clear coat okay safe on plastic fiberglass metal uh, any material that's painted, you can. If you're trying to put a clear coat on something, you can do it with that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and actually wet sand this side with some thousand grit, repolish it, and show you guys how it looks. Okay, I'll get back with y'all in a minute. Oh yes, I love it. <laughs> Hell yeah! What y'all think, man? All right, so check it out real quick. Couple things. I had to do a little touch up because once I, I guess. When I was painting it, because it was so low, I, I, it was a couple little spots I missed with the gun. So you can see here, if it focuses, little spots like here, I had to get, I had to go pick up a little paintbrush touch-up kit, and I hit it up in there. From, and to be honest with you, you won't even notice it unless you, unless it's me, because I'm super like anal about that stuff. Um, also, oh, I also touched up this, the scratches on my tailgate. Finally touched that up. But yeah, I had to touch up in here. You can't even tell now. Um, I ended up getting a dupe color pen. I did that. I did here. And then up there, I did a little spot. But honestly, unless you walk up on it and you're looking at it, you won't know. Uh, what's next for the camper shell? We got to go ahead and get the windows tinted out. I'm going to get. I'm gonna see about getting them tinted tomorrow. If not, maybe sometime in the near future. Get the windows tinted, smoked out completely. I don't want, no, no one to be able to see in there gotta clean it um it look real hazy right now because oh they are there's stuff on it um so yeah i picked that stuff up but man does she look good please comment down below and let me know how you feel because i'm digging it right now man with the windows i kind of want to go darker on my truck windshield on my truck tent right now man shoot because this heat is real tomorrow be on the lookout for another video. We're going to be washing the truck up, getting her cleaned up so we can see what she looks like the first time with the shell on, white, truck cleaned up, glossed up looking. Uh, cannot put any type of wax or sealants or ceramic coats on the paint. Probably going to wait about a month just so the paint can fully cure. It can uh, pretty much detox itself so that way it looks and it holds up and is durable. Um, but yeah, man, I love it. it. Looks awesome. Hell yeah. All right, you guys, so the camper shell is officially done. This project is a wrap, closed up. 
Uh, all in all, I'm going to do the, co the total cost. Uh, I can tell you right now, I spent less than $200 in materials to paint this. Did it myself. Took my time, and it came out really good. Um, it, I can also see some a couple light uh, sanding marks on the paint from when I was wet sanding it that I'm going to hit it back up later, maybe after I, you know, down the road you can't see it and that's the thing about white paint is it's so awesome at hiding uh imperfections if this was black right now you'd probably see all of the things the the, the, the crappiness i did in it but it came out really good i love it man I, I i love it so much i used dupe color champion white uh that stuff worked good with a spray gun ran it at about 50 psi uh and it did the job you know it did the job so please comment down below let me know what y'all think about this video any recommendations on what i should do with the camper shell uh, stickers are going to be coming on here real soon. Nothing crazy, just you know, a couple stickers represent, you know, representing certain people. Um, what else? Got speakers on the way today. Just ordered interior speakers for the truck because this stock system is done, is toasted. This um, half the speakers don't even work. The other ones are blown out. So we're going to be swapping out speakers on the doors and the dashboard here soon. Hopefully by the end of the week. So we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Okay. So make sure you're like always, smash that like button, stay tuned, continue to be subscribed, hit that bell notification because I ain't going nowhere. We got a lot of stuff coming up, okay? Um, I know this video might not have been the most detailed, but I tried to do best as I could. Um, I apologize for not being able to get any film with me actually buffing the paint, just that it's a lot of work, man. Uh, on camera, this is probably going to be a 15 minute video, who knows, but in reality, this is a, you know, I woke up at 7 this morning, 8, 6 o'clock this morning. And I got to it at 6.37. I was outside wet sanding. I didn't get the thing on the truck until about noon. So that just goes to show how much prep work and how much elbow grease you have to put in it. But at the same time, this video does stand point that if you can, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay? Uh, it's just a matter of doing research. If you guys got questions on how I did it, what I use, please feel free down below. If there's something I didn't cover good enough, ask me down below. I'll be more than happy to answer it for you and help you out. All right? Until next time, take it easy. Be safe. Peace out.